Hi everyone, it's me, Julie Vu, or Princess Jules, the two sparkles. All right, so I want to talk to you guys about something that I regret earlier in my transition that I didn't really think about and I should have, you know, thought about it really wisely and thought hard and long and big and large about it. I don't know, would you call this a mistake or... I don't know what you call this. I guess I was just young and dumb. I don't know. Young and dumb. Is that what I would call myself? Uh... Yes, there are some regrets. Not with my surgery, but regrets to what I didn't do prior to my surgery. I should have thought uh, more about this instead of thinking about in the moment of what I really wanted then. Back then, I really wanted to get my surgery. I was uncomfortable for you know, my time being on earth, I was just so uncomfortable. And I guess I was just so quick to jump to conclusions and was like, okay, let's just, you know, snip, snip, pocus, pocus, so, so, think a bam, let's make it into a vagina. I don't want to cry in this video because I have fresh makeup on right now, but this problem still haunts me till this very day and it still haunts me in my sleep and I can't sleep at night time because of this issue. The issue is, that I should have saved my sperm so I could, you know, have a baby, my own child, today or, you know, in the future, and I didn't do that. The doctor told me, you need to think about it, but I was just so hard-headed. I was just like, I need to get the surgery done. I don't care. Step out of the way. Like, get me on the table kind of thing, and ugh, stupid decisions when I was so young and dumb. I guess I wasn't too young. It was like four years ago. 19 years old, 20 years old, yeah. For all you transgender women out there, please think, please do, don't make the same mistake that I did, and I think a lot of people did, is not saving your sperm or freezing your sperm so you can maybe, if you want a child in the future, you can do that. It is a little bit expensive. I forgot how much it is to have, like, have it like frozen every year. I, I actually don't know how it works. So sad, ugh, I roll. I roll myself into another dimension. I mean, there's other options out there to, you know, have a child, like my partner could, you know, have a surrogate. Can you imagine if, like, doctors, like, found some miraculous way to, you know, be able to put a child in me? Like, I would be the cutest mom ever. I would be the cutest, like, pregnant belly lady ever. Like, come on. Oh my god, look at that. There's also adoption, which I'm not too worried about. I mean, it would be nice to, you know, have my own blood flowing, you know, offspring, but there's lots of children out there who don't have, you know, a mom or a dad to love or to take care of. And I feel like, you know, I don't know, I could, you know, save someone's life or be that person. I'm just, oh. This is making me like tear up a bit, but I just can't wait. Like I feel like that's my like next goal in life is to become a mom, but first, you know. I gotta find a husband. <laughs> and when that day comes, you better be prepared because mommy vlogs today we're gonna teach you how to put on a diaper, how to feed your baby. Uh, situations. I feel like the beginning of this video was more of like a negative thing, but I've turned it around and made it into a positive thing, so I'm happy about that. That's my number one regret. My whole transition was not freezing my sperm so I could have children now or later in the future. Yes, I said the word sperm. Julie needs to have a penis. But that is all for today's video. I just wanted to share some crucial information to you guys. And for those transgender people out there, please think about it before you make any decisions or mistakes like I did. I regret it so much. Oh, my babies would be so cute. I'm gonna go cry now, like. Oh, and stay tuned. On Sunday, I'll be getting laser hair removal in the Vagina, Gorgina region. So I'm going to vlog that. Uh, I don't know. Weird, strange, um, curious. <laughs> but I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Mwah.